Hello Lash Loves! Welcome back to another Asia K Beauty YouTube video. We are going to talk about the new year. It is a new year. We just barely had on January 11th the first new moon of the entire year, which is actually pretty large. Capricorn is the sign of that we are in. This was a new moon in Capricorn, meaning we are in the goat phase. Yeah, we are the goats, but we are in the goat phase, meaning we are trudging up that mountain. We have the goal in sight. We are taking the steps to happen and we are resilient. We are getting stuff done. We are making things happen. But just because the new year is in January, in the middle of winter, does not mean you have to hustle. The goal doesn't hustle. It goes time by time, step by step. So in this video, we're going to talk about the goals that you should be making right now, what to look forward to this entire year in your business, and what to plan for, what to look forward to, and how to expand and make the most out of this year. This year's already gonna be great, but we're going to make it even better. So, the new moon is when the sun is reflecting onto the moon. But, right then, right now, the new moon means there's no reflection at all. It's in hibernation. Naturally, our circadian rhythm of our bodies will be more calm, more intentional, and bringing more peace into the month, into the new moon cycle. And what that is where we have stuff to do. We are welcoming in the new moon, first of 2024 in Capricorn, which is all about love, intention, and power, which is exactly what this shirt is. Capricorn is the goat, which largely reminds us that we are the goat on top of the mountain of our stresses, taking one step at a time, and we are in the place making sure our feet are stable, making sure our vision is at the top of the mountain. That's where the goal is. Spring equinox is actually the true cyclical new year, but right now, it is a new year, so we're planting the bulbs to start them to get rooted so they can bloom come when the new year and season actually starts for even more acceleration and life and abundance, just like spring. So while you are setting your intention to tonight, this week, for the new moon of the new year, don't just make intentions for this year. We're also making intentions for this lunar month. Be mindful of a couple goals that you're going to represent as annual flowers, that is fast growing, fast blooming, and then also sink into your perennial flower bulbs that you are going to plant as goals. They are going to be deep seeded and will last the rest of your life and will be able to build and build and build. Similar to the turtle and the hare. Both are gonna make it in the end. Both are gonna happen. Your goals will happen fast or slow, but they all have different lessons of the journey. Also, the middle of the winter is when we have New Year. It doesn't make sense because we're wanting to be in hibernation. Instead of trying to make your goals and resolutions happen so fast and rush, don't rush. Act when you are ready to act. Rest when you're ready to rest. You just have to be 2% better each day. And that means a lot. You don't have to do a whole ton. You are able to just do that 2%. If that 2% is just five steps more a day on your watch, counting on your steps, sure, have at it. If that means making half a post a day, at least making a draft so you can post the next day, that counts. 2% of your day is just 15 minutes. What can you do in your 15 minutes to be able to expand? 15 minutes a day to be 2% better that builds and builds and builds. If we're talking about investments, we are business women. We talk about investments all the time, but are you actually making that investment to build and grow on top of each other in yourself of what you are wanting to grow? 2024 is the year of the eight. All about motion, promotion, reaping in the rewards, movement, the cyclical invitation to get going. Seven was our last year all about introspection, planting the seeds, but now is the time for the eight. It is time for the harvest, but you will have to make the effort to go and pick the fruit, go and dig up those potatoes that you planted. That is when what we get will come. This year is all about increase. It is about movement and fast forwardness. It is already happening. It is already, the momentum is building. What moves is keeps on moving, but 
as it already has natural momentum, if you move too fast, you are more likely to crash. Steady yourself, go at a good, even pace. Take it month by month. Think back of the last seven years. It is a huge seven year cycle. Every seven years, you are a new person entirely. Whoever touched me eight years ago never touched me with this body because this is a new me. So, what did you plant in the last seven years? What have you been working on? As this is a year of increase, it will increase everything, meaning positive and negative. This is a crossroads. Which one are you going to increase? Which one are you going to choose? Which one are you gonna fuel? Be sure to pay attention to what you are going to increase. Are you going to increase negativity or are you going to increase greatness and abundance? Think about it. Now this cool trick that I learned this year is how your body says yes and no. Pretend for me with a minute. What's your name? Just say your name out in your head. You're like, my name is blank. So to me, my name is Brianna. All right, where do I feel that? I feel that in my heart. Cool. Now, say the wrong name. My name is Richard. Well, I feel that in my throat. That's a no. Or you can feel it other places. You can feel it different chakras. You can feel it in your hands. You can feel it in your legs and your knees, whatever. Where do you feel your yes? Where do you feel your no? Now think about your goals. I have the goal of being a thousand hours outside this year. Yep, I just got my confirmation. Mm -hmm. My goal is to buy a Ferrari. Uh, no, because that's not my goal. What are you working on? When you are in the everyday life, it is hard to always listen to your intuition. Instead of just listening to your intuition, why don't you ask it questions? Yes and no questions. It is so easy. Just like, you know, boy, girl with the necklace thing, same thing, but it's in your body. How does it feel in your body? Because this is all about you, your intuition, your spirit on the inside, giving you guidance. The last thing I want to talk about is discipline. Because this is the year of reaping what you have sowed, we want to be able to have that discipline. If you are starting to cut off everybody in your life, you're like, bye, 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 bye. They will come back to you because you didn't have a plan. You didn't have a plan B. You need to have a plan set in place. Discipline is all about the reaping. We need to be able to have that self-discipline, which discipline is the word of my year. Last year was patience. This year is discipline. So it's actually kind of funny when this kept popping up on my research. But how do you compare yourself, your current self, with your past self as far as discipline goes? How would you compare yourself to your current discipline patterns to your patterns five years ago? When was the last time you felt courageous in your body? Think about it, please write it down, journal it. Is there any form of organization that you enjoy the most? Whether you love having an amazing planner like I do, if you like having it on your phone, in Google, on your Apple calendar, if you like having it just in your head, please get it out of your head. That's the whole point is getting it out of your head because the more we put into it and don't let it out, the more it gets stuck, 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 stuck. Just like a big old fishing net. The more fish we catch, especially the bigger ideas, you know, we're getting the big fish. It's gonna get weighed down. It cannot hold. And eventually that net is going to break and you don't wanna be there when it breaks because it doesn't feel good. It doesn't. And then you lost all of that all of your ideas, all your motivation, all your inspiration, everything. We don't want that to happen. Whatever you put into that net, into your brain, we need to let it out onto a piece of paper, onto your phone, I don't care. Journal it mobily, journal it digitally, journal it physically, anything. Let it out of your system, talk it out with your bestie, your mom, your boyfriend, whatever. Get it out of your system so you, your net will not break. Yes, once again, this is a year of reaping, all about love and abundance, and it is growing. It's gonna naturally happen, whether you ask for it or not, but you have to go get it yourself. You do have to go get it yourself, but make sure you're also make, 
making it a gift. Celebrate yourself and put it in a safe place. Take it out of the fishnet and into a nice pretty basket for keeping for later use. Be sure to have those systems in place, those strategies in place to be able to move forward. When you're thinking about your goals for this year, I want you to think about four main goals. One, that is healthy for your body. Two, that you're able to expand on for your business. Three, what can you do with family? Travel. And four, what is something just whatever, willy nilly. Let me tell you my goals for this year. They're pretty expansive and two of them are Okay, we'll say I'm not scared of all of these because talking to my therapist we're like mm -mm, There's no such thing as scared goals anymore. If you're gonna have a goal have a goal Get out of the drama and into your dreams make it crystal Because we're only human. I'm not a robot. I don't want to be a robot So my four main goals for this year and yes only four That's it Everything last year on my vision board with which I think was five or six came true if I put that much effort into my four and have 2% better in each field, that's 15 minutes, that's an hour a day into all of this, whoo, let's see where I'm at at the end of the year. So, first is to be outside 1,000 hours a day. Oh, sorry, ha, that'd be a lot. 1,000 hours this year. The average American now spends 1,200 hours on devices within a year. And that's not talking about us business owners because that's probably a little higher up. So I'm trying to be outside a thousand hours a year. They have an app for this, it's absolutely amazing. If you want the details, message me and I will send it to you, but so far it's going great and I'm above quota. Camping and hiking, best friends, whenever the sun's outside, I'll go outside, anything to get my little bit of nature in me. I'm a nature girl anyway, so this one's gonna be easy peasy. Next is going to be a secret because it has to do with business, but I'm super excited about it. And I'm gonna be doing that 2% better every single day, 15 minutes, boom. Reading my goal, I my mind is just like Pfft. But if I think about 15 minutes, I'm like, oh yeah, I can do 15 minutes. So do 15 minutes, it's not that hot. My third one is to do my third triathlon in December. I'm super excited about it. It's gonna be 150 miles. I'm organizing it myself. My first time I did it with a group, second time I did it personal, and third time I'm doing it personal again. It's going to be 100 miles biking, 30 miles kayaking, and 20 miles on foot within three days. So I will do, it, it's broken up. It's okay, I do gotta sleep within that. It's gonna be a challenge, not a race, but a triathlon nonetheless. And yes, kayaking, not swimming. Either way, these arms are gonna get good. And the last one is to hit a savings goal because I have some pretty large goals coming up that do require financial abundance. Yes, I'm abundant right now, but I need to have that little extra capital in the bank account to be able to fully invest myself into the things coming up. So what is your financial goal? What do you want, what dollar amount do you want to save within this year? Think about it. Make it manageable, break it up, and make it come true. Get out of your drama, into your dreams, make it crystal clear, because you are human, and congratulations because of that, because I'd rather be working with you than a robot. I love you, girl, and I hope that you are happy lashing and happy lash business. Make sure you like, hit subscribe and comment below if you have any questions, if you like this video, if you didn't like this video, if you have any input of what your goals are this year. I gave you my goals, I wanna know what your goals are. So let's communicate. And if you wanna work further with me, be sure to go over to Instagram and hit a follow button, The Asia K, and I'm excited to expand your business with you. See you throughout the year.